Hello, this is Kenny Lee Burgess, and welcome to How Do You Play Bottleneck Slide Blues Guitar. In this lesson, we're going to work on a song by Bobby Grant called Lonesome Atlanta Blues. You could find it on this CD, Classic Slide Guitar Blues. I don't think you'll have any problem finding it on Amazon. Now, this uh, lesson is for the absolute beginner, or anybody who would uh, like to learn slide, and... You, what you need really is a guitar, any steel string guitar, and it doesn't have to be in tune. And you're going to need a slide for your finger. Um, you probably find something around the house. You could use a piece of metal pipe, and you could put it either on your pinky or your ring finger. You can use an old soup bone. Maybe the dog didn't chew it yet. Uh, you could search YouTube for um, how to make a bottleneck slide and cut your own off a wine bottle. You could use a glass medicine bottle. That might fit on your finger. Or you can go out to the old tool shed and get yourself a socket and stick that on your finger. Okay, so what we'll do first is I'll, uh, I'll play the song for you. I'm so lonesome, I'm so lonesome, hear me crying, my, my lying. I'm so lonesome, I got that old Atlanta blues. So sad and lonesome, mama don't know what to do. Okay, so I call this kind of old school slide guitar because you're not fretting any of the notes with your fingers, you're doing it all with the slide. So uh, you can find an old guitar, you know, one with the strings that are so far away from the fingerboard you can stick your head in there. Or you can actually build your own guitar because you don't have to worry about uh, putting frets in it, you know, because you're just going to be, uh, you can use your ear and find the notes. And that's a lot of times what the old blues masters used to do. Okay, so let's get into this. Uh, first get into tune. So let's number the strings. The one closest to the floor is one, two, three, four, five, six. So starting on the fourth string, which is normally a D, we're going to tune that to D. And just get as close as you can. Now the sixth string we're going to tune down. Uh, normally it would be a low E. We're going to tune that down to D. So those two notes, they match. They sound nice together. And then finally your first string, which is normally a high E, we're going to tune that down to D. So now you have three D strings. A low one, a middle one, and a high one. And normally, the whole guitar would be tuned to an open chord, which is a D chord, sound like this. But we're only utilizing those strings for right now. So, what I would suggest, uh, the best way to kind of uh, approach this is, if you look to the right of the video, you'll see that I wrote the lyrics down to the first verse. And in front of each word, I put the fret number. Now, what you should know is, when you play the slide, you want your your slide to be directly over the fret wire. So if I'm on the first string fifth fret, I want to slide right to that note so it's in pitch. And the other thing is you let the slide just kind of slide lightly on the strings. Don't push down or you'll you'll clunk against the frets and it'll sound like this. Okay, and you really want a more a smooth sound. Just that note ringing that you want to play. Now, the way to approach this song is what's kind of nice about it is that you're also going to learn how to sing the blues as you play it because you're accompanying yourself. So the notes, um, you're going to try to get your voice to match the notes. So I would start simply with that first string and go with that first line. So it would sound like this. I'm so lonesome, I'm so lonesome. Now for me, actually, I would actually tune this guitar a little lower to C because I like to sing a little lower. So understand that, that you really want to uh, tune the guitar to your voice, not the other way around. So if you want to tune down a little bit lower or higher for yourself, that's fine. But be very careful not to go above E because you'll bust all your strings. Now after you work on the, uh, the single line, start just thumping the bass with your thumb and add the melody line with the other finger. So it would sound more like this. 
I'm so lonesome, I'm so lonesome. Then you could experiment with alternating the bass. And then trying to add those notes. I'm so lonesome, I'm so lonesome. Now don't worry if sometimes they alternate and sometimes they don't, because a lot of the blues players would do that too. Sometimes they alternate, sometimes they just play it on the bass. But in time you'll get an idea. Now one of the other things I should mention is that if you see a zero, that means that string is open. And a little lick is on the uh, fourth string, you'll see it right there, that little lick. And basically it sounds like this. It's really simple. What you're doing on the fourth string is you slide up to the third fret a couple times. Then you strike on the third fret and let it slide down to the second fret. You play the fourth string open and then you slide on the first string to the twelfth fret. Let me do that again. Now what's kind of neat about this is you could play around with this and something kind of blind Willie Johnson would do, and he played a lot in open D and, and worked a lot with the single line uh, with the bottleneck, is he would double up the strings because you got three D strings. So that means anything you play on one string, you can play on the other string. So what you can do is you can play the fourth string and the first string at the, the same time. So in the song there's this little lick that sounds like this. Let me play that again for you. So what you can do is you can double that up. Almost sounds like a 12 string. Or you can do that with the 4th and 6th string. And you'll hear that on Blind Willie Johnson a lot. So um, I think uh, you should have no problem working this out. and, and and it's kind of cool because you'll understand how like a melody line uh, matches with your voice. And this is like really old school blues playing. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. And if you, if you find it interesting and you would like to learn more about how to uh, tune the whole guitar and how to use more of the strings, um, please consider purchasing my instructional CD Series 1. You could find that on www.ebay.com. And just search Kenny Lee. Spell my first name K-E-N-I and my middle name L-E-E -E -E, and you'll uh, have no problem finding the auctions. Also, what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload a song, a classic song uh, from the Depression era called um, Brother Can You Spare a Dime? And I think this will, you'll find this interesting because it really will give you an idea how what you could do is you could act like you're playing a clarinet and play the first string with the slide and play the melody line and it's really kind of a fun way to expand it out and uh, uh, explore the possibilities. Um, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Um, please feel free to, to write and uh, ask any questions.